Hey there everybody, it's KYN and I welcome you all back to my Let's Play of Lemmings Plus 3D. So, uh, last time we finished up the fun rank and yeah, I got to say that for the first rank it's pretty well done and very well rounded. Uh, I actually liked it even though the X of everything's were overdone to death. Yeah, pretty similar to Lemmings Plus 1. Yeah, Namito's very first pack, but well, um, again, I, I, I did like the fun rank for the fact that there was a lot of variety and um, yeah, there were definitely some things that the um, pack explorers, yeah, that the base game didn't touch upon. Yeah, such as more use of the 3D aspect of, of the game. Um, but um, yeah, the last few days, yeah, there were some, there was an uh, absence of videos, but uh, that was because, yeah, um, the last few days have been quite hectic because, um, yeah, starting like Thursday, yeah, uh, Thursday very early in the morning, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, when I tried another system restore because there was pretty much a problem in that my laptop kept reporting that my battery was low even though it was at full charge. So it was like those false reportings and so I thought a system restore would uh, fix it. But I think what ended up doing it in was, um, yeah, um, system restore got to the point where it was restarting with the spinning white circles but then um, I thought it was like frozen and stuck on that screen uh, on, on that part. And so, um, yeah, I tried doing a hard reset, uh, which just uh, pretty much improperly shut off the um, laptop uh, when I held down the power button, and I think that's what did in my um, my device. Yeah, so it pretty much uh, threw it in, in an endless loop where um, it never got past the uh, Dell logo boot up. And so, yeah, hence I was never never able to like boot in or uh, log into Windows, and um, I even tried like. Um, booting to like uh, say a USB or a, like a reinstallation media but um, yeah no matter what yeah my device was just stuck in an infinite loop yeah and also uh, along with a B sod yeah blue screen of death yeah I never got past those and so um, yeah I was never able to log into Windows and um, yeah I thought um, it was pretty much done for but after a good night's rest yeah for like say four four hours I think four to five hours um, yeah, I thought of, oh, wait, I think I could just get a, like a new hard drive and everything. And so, um, I went down to the store and bought a new, um, 990 Pro, yeah, so also by Samsung, similar to the 970 EVO Plus, or e EVO Plus. And, um, <clears throat> so, um, yeah, after I bought the hard drive and everything, um, yeah, I bought the one with the heat sink, but, yeah, I found out that it does not fit into my device. But later on, I realized, oh wait, I didn't actually need to put in the enclosure, the copper enclosure over it, yeah. Because I think I could still use it, but um, the only issue is um, whether I'd be able to put the laptop cover back on. Yeah, after I took it apart and uh, replaced the hard drive. And so I went back to the store and bought the one without the heatsink. And luckily for me, um, yeah, it was just simply an exchange, so therefore I didn't need to like um, pay any extra. And it was also the same price as well, so yeah. And then I just opened up my laptop and, and um, yeah, put the one without the heatsink in and uh, installed Windows and uh, everything went perfectly fine until I did the system image restore. And um, I guess it caused some problems such as like not being able to like right click and bring up context menus or like left click on stuff. Yeah, where um, it just didn't open things at all. And so I did another system restore. Um, yeah. Um, fixes most problems but then there was still some lingering issues and so I tried another one yeah also um, I think they were both um, in the De December range as well so um, one was on the 10th the other one was on the third yeah um, didn't had any luck there and um, yeah just when I was about to like reset the PC and everything yeah I decided to give system restore one last try and um, I reset it to the final no, November date. No, 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 no. Uh, two November dates, yeah. Before the um, end of November. So I believe it was like the 19th, yeah, which was pretty much the time when I uh, first used the new, um, what do you call it, the T9, yeah, uh, as an external hard drive to back up my data and everything. And um, ever since then, yeah, everything has been working perfectly fine. Um, luckily, I was able to keep everything keep everything and not lose anything 
um, thanks to the system image restore and also system restore as well. But um, uh, the only thing I did lose was the um, basically my completion data for Lemmings Winterland and also the fun rank of Lemmings plus 3D. Yeah, because I didn't get a chance to back those up before the corruption happened. So um, uh, that's unfortunate, but it's no it's no biggie because um, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, there isn't like really anything. Yeah, of concern in the fun rank. Although Namita can always tell me if I'm wrong there. Um, yeah, there's only one that I consider that might be a back row, but um, but due to the skill set being an X of everything, yeah. I am, um, if I remember correctly, I think it's fun 16. Yeah, um, just because of the fact that I, that I ignored most of the uh, most of the most of the level. Yeah, I pretty much went for a more straightforward direct approach. Yeah, so unless that is acceptable, yeah, that's like pretty much the only level that does seem to be like what I might think is a back route, but um, yeah, again, maybe you can just let me know, yeah, if it is or it isn't. Um, so that's that's pretty unfortunate, but um, uh, that that's okay. Yeah, it's it's not a, like a really really big uh, deal or anything. Like I could always like replay those levels and uh, grab new replays. Yeah, but but there's also the videos as well. So, um, um, but I think for the most part, yeah, I will like um, somehow like get the replays for them again, uh, just so I can like post some feedback in the uh, low pack release topic. And um, yeah, and also along with that, yeah, I did not. Um, uh, you're not gonna see like the um, like the entire fun ranking green either because yeah, again, I did not back up that file. The, the per the progress file for that so um yeah and then just now yeah i tried um i thought in uh putting my former um internal hard drive would um would work yeah if i uh put it in an enclosure and everything because i thought i'd be able to recover the data but no no unfortunately nothing worked yeah it seems that like no matter um what i do yeah if i try to plug in that um 970 uh, Evo Plus, yeah, it's just gonna draw my uh, device into an endless loop. And thank goodness I um, I had a spare laptop, yeah, for which I could like test it, yeah, because I was like, nah, I don't want to, I don't want to like um, screw things up with my current device, yeah. Uh, and um, and so it's a, it's pretty fortunate that I still have the laptop that I, uh, from about um, three years ago, yeah. I did not sell it or give it away or anything yet. And so I was lucky that I had that to test the enclosure on, and it seems yeah, seems that like uh, any time that the um, that the, that uh, SSD is plugged in, yeah, it just draws the device in, in an endless loop. So unfortunately, no luck in recovering the data there. But well, uh, pretty much the only option left here is just to like um, maybe try like to find like some um, professional company that, that can do like data recovery. But well, yeah, it's um. It's kind of like a nitpick on my part because, like, um, yeah, pretty much the the only thing I would ask for recovery is the lope data. Yeah, but that's it, you know. Yeah, everything else I've I've already have on my current device, so um, yeah, no need to recover anything else besides the lope uh, progress and everything. But anyway, yeah, that's a already a huge digression for what I'm getting to here. Yeah, with this uh, recording video, recorded video, um, and so pretty much the. Um, um, yeah, I'm out of luck there, but, uh, well, yeah, let's, let's just move on, you know. I've, I've already wasted so much time trying to, like, um, you know, do a hard drive uh, replacement and also, um, like, um, uh, making sure that everything is fine with recovery and everything. Yeah, and after two days, yeah, I finally got everything, um, back up and ready. So, um, yeah, now, now I'm ready to, uh, continue with the Let's Play Linux Plus 3D. And, um, I, I felt like there was something else that I wanted to say there. Oh, oh, yes, yes. The only, uh, one more thing that I wanted to say is that, yeah, knowing how to, like, do a hard drive replacement, yeah, it, uh, yourself, it really comes in handy. Yeah, and luckily for me, I have I have years of experience doing it, so, uh, yeah. And my laptop, it's one of those things, yeah, it's, like, a little difficult to open up at first, but, um, yeah, at least, um, this one is harder to open. Uh, than my previous one, the one that I tested the enclosure on, uh, but yeah, just knowing uh, how to do it yourself, yeah, it really, really comes in handy because it saves a lot of time from having 
you to like setting the uh, laptop in for lab repairs. And so, yeah, I definitely saved a lot of time by knowing how to do the hard, hard drive replacement myself. So, um, yeah, and again, I've been doing it for years now, so um, so it's not like it's the first time that I've been doing it. Yeah, I've, I've done plenty of hard drive um, upgrades and everything. And not only that, memory upgrades as well. So, um, yeah, those are those are probably like the two simplest things that you can do yourself. Others will be a bit more difficult, such as like the um, putting in like a new um, CPU and everything. But, um, um, but well, um, I would probably like just, uh, I, I honestly don't like trust myself to do those things. Yeah, I would probably just leave it to a professional. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say there. So, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and move on now. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and continue with the let's play of uh, Linux Plus 3D here. So let's go. let's go ahead and continue. So yeah, if I show you the fun rank, for example, yeah, you you and you will recall from the last time that I completed the entire fun rank. But again, because I was not able to back up the data before the corruption happened on my hard drive, um, yeah, that's why all these are in red when they should be in green. But that's okay. Yeah, just know that um, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, pick up pick up where I last left off. So, we're going to go ahead and go into Tricky now. And so, we start with level 1 here. So, Sput Lem 4. Uh, 30 lemmings, 20 to be saved, and time limit of 5 minutes. Oh, this looks pretty interesting. I am wondering if that is supposed to be like some kind of like um, space um, shuttle or something. Yeah, because uh, Sput Lem, it seems... It really seems to like uh, be like a reference to like Sputnik or something. Yeah, like the um, like the um, space um, craft um, Sputnik. Uh, anyway, so see the entrance of that um, platform with the igniting um, engines and stuff. Now, where's the exit? Okay, I see it on the map. Oh, there it is. Must be right. Nope. Is it? No, no, no. It appears to just be an opening. But we're checking. Peer through it. Uh, yeah. Where is the exit? Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, so at the very top there. Oh, okay. So a pretty limited skill set here. So we have a blocker, four turners, two builders, and one climber. Okay, um... And so we pretty much have no destructive skills whatsoever. Whoops. So it seems that we would have to like... Maybe go through the opening there. But um, if we did that. Yeah, we would be able to get up later though. Uh it does seem pretty high up though. Yeah, most definitely like one builder wouldn't like suffice if we like come out from here. So it looks like we that we would just have to like maybe like Get up from the very start here. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and like uh, build into the opening there. Or, or rather, to like reach the opening. So uh, that didn't quite reach it. Um, I wonder if it's because I did not build up far enough here. Yeah. Now I see it. Yeah, this. Okay. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh, and also because I don't have the um, progress file um, backed up and everything. Yeah, I had to like reconfigure the hotkeys and everything. Yeah, but that's already done. And same thing with the um, um, like converting the uh, Lemming Street the, uh, music, music tracks to OGG. Yeah, I took uh, Stratos um, 
tracks for the for his Lemmings pack. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So we can move along in this corridor here. And again, if we go from here, then I don't see how they can like get up because like, yeah, we only have a builder and. It seems way, 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 way too high for them. With just one builder. Yeah, it would probably just require just another builder the other way, and then you'd be able to get up there. Um, but the thing is, yeah, is there another way in which we can get into the um, that corridor? Yeah, without using a builder. I don't think there is. Yeah, and plus there are gaps in the floor too. Hmm. Yeah, or if it's just possible to like just come back out. Well, we can always send a, cl a climber. Yeah, but the thing is, we only have one uh, blocker, that's the thing. As you see, I was thinking of like, just coming back out and then... But actually, that it might do, I mean... Let's see, though. Well, you went out a little farther than I wanted you to there. Okay, I feel like that's... Nope. That should be fine, okay. And even then, we're probably not even able to reach the top either. And most importantly, are these the black blocks? No, they're not, okay. Um... Well, and plus, oh yeah, these are reflector blocks, I, I think. Yeah, but we still need some turners. Yeah, we would need like, um, three of them. Oh wow, this is like a big step up in difficulty already. Yeah, and it's only the first level of Tricky, too. Wow. Hmm. Unless there's, like, some other openings inside here that I'm not seeing. Um... Oh, there are openings. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. There's not. No, there are. There are. There are. You just like open. You just like um um open down the floor. Okay. So yeah. Um, oh great. Get ourselves out of here. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, uh, it looks like we will have to build uh, like it did before and then. Alrighty, and then let's go ahead and put 
virtual dummy mode here, and then, yeah, we'll have to turn into one of the corridors. Okay. I don't think it matters which one we go in, but, um, yeah, let's just see, though. Okay. Um... Yeah, so when we navigate through the floors, somehow I'm thinking this isn't correct. Oh wait, we're back to... We're going back to the start, aren't we? Instead. Okay, and then let's okay. do another turner. Uh, where are you guys? No, we're pretty much going back to where we were. Oh, no. No, 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 we're not. Okay, so... We only have a turn remaining. Um, okay. Okay, I've already tried going to the left. Why don't we try going to the right instead? Yeah, I don't think that's going to change anything either, but, um, let's see, though. Yeah, so it seems like um, going down here would do us any good. Like, there doesn't seem to be any reason that I go down at all. So, I'm still pretty stopped at, as to how to like even get up here then. Yeah, if we already have to, like, use one builder to, like... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. No, I think I know. No, no, because I saw how they need to do this. So, I just need to find where do they, um, come out. Nope, I know now. Yeah, it's just like I discussed, yeah, if we can build, yeah, bridge in one direction and then use the blocker to build in the other direction, yeah, then we'd be, we'd be sucked here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I don't think it matters which corridor you go down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I could, I could just as well go that way as well. Okay. 
Okay, um... Let me go ahead and put, um, virtual enemy mode here. Because, uh, they're not gonna fall into the... Only well. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, because the problem is that I would need one more Turner to get inside. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. That is where they come out with, right? Huh. Okay, um, why don't we try going the other way then? Okay. Yeah, okay. it's probably just me, like, not looking at these things right. Yeah, like, it looks like one thing, but maybe it's actually something else. Yeah, let me see. No, it, this just seems to be an abyss, so... Okay, okay. Yeah, that's just an ab... Unless it's... Here, I don't mean... Um, yeah, it's probably there, I mean. Oh. Wait, can they even go in there? There he goes. Ah. That's um, what I did at the beginning. That caused me to use one more turner than is necessary. Okay. Okay. Oh, get back up there. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Right, right. Yeah, the opening's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little hard for me to tell. Okay. Yeah, just from this um, okay. uh, this level. But like, then again, um, it's probably just not me used to like seeing these things correctly. Alrighty, then we can just turn. Okay, so we have to turn to the left. Alright, let's go ahead and put virtual dummy mode on him. Alrighty, we we'll can go ahead and build. Yeah, we should be in the right spot now. Yep, perfect. Yep, now we just block it and go the other way. There we go. Alrighty, this one took far longer than it needed to, but yeah. Nice low to begin the rank here. Begin the tricky rank. Alrighty, so I'm not sure what the climber is for then. But other than that, yeah, I used uh, all the other skills.
uh, redirect loop for Tricky 2. 20 lemmings, 19 to be saved. Six and a half minutes here. Alrighty. Uh, so the exit's right here. Yeah, and a pretty high release rate, okay. Yep, and as I thought, no turners, because otherwise this would be way too easy. So, we need to find some other way to come back. Oh, and no block. No, not, not a turner, I'm sorry. A blocker. In this case, a blocker. If we had even one blocker, it would be too easy. But instead, we have a basher, a miner, and a climber. Okay. Um, so, I believe they're heading towards a reflector block here. So, heading towards the left. Yeah, and then... Okay, so they're just going to go... Um, around the perimeter here. Okay, and then they're headed towards the deflector block with one-way arrows on them. So, hmm. So, we wouldn't want to make a climber there. Well, can a climber even get yeah, past this? Okay. okay, yeah, they can. But, again, it wouldn't do any good because then it would walk into oblivion. Okay, so then we go to here, and then back to here, and then they'll just, um, yeah, and then they'll just be stuck in that infinite loop until we do something. Okay, and we can only lose one. Ah, what's going on here? I'm just holding it on the right mouse button. I don't think we can, like, okay. modify the terrain here, can we? No. Of course not. Okay. Same thing with Basher, yeah. Okay. Um... Um... Oh. Yeah, I see. Um, let's see, where's that climber? Where can that climber be used? Yeah, it doesn't matter because that's the boundary of low anyway. Yeah, I don't think bashing here would do any good. Because, again, they'll be uh, out into the void. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so... Yeah, I thought I saw something, but no. I did not. You know what? Let's just um, try bashing here. Yeah, even though I said that they... I'm pretty certain they'll go off into the void after that. Most definitely, okay. Yeah, I think there is something that I'm probably not seeing here. But, um, is this batchable? No, it's still okay. 
uh, somehow I believe we will have to like start with a miner somewhere. Um. Yeah, and I think this is in the wrong direction. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so they hit the deflector block here. Yeah, and again, that throws them back into the um, this endless loop. So we need to do something so that they're not stuck in that endless loop. Yeah, so we could climb over here, but again, it's not going to do us any good. Huh. <laughs> I'm baffled here. Pressure. Okay. Yeah, I just won't stop at it. Okay. And then they're out into the void there. Yeah, I am confused because we can't even send up a climber over here. Yeah, and plus it doesn't do any good, because, yeah, again, the climb would just go off into the void, and then same thing, we use the Bash Shredder. Okay. And then this entire floor should be steel. Okay. Yeah. It's not gonna do us any good there, so... Um... Yeah, I don't know. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we redirect them, obviously, but, um... You know, as the title suggests, but, um... Where do we begin? Yeah, like, where where do we even begin? Yeah, I don't see, like, any, like, discernible, like, separate path that, like, uh, maybe the worker, the climber worker can go. At least without him getting into danger and then, like, reaching the boundary at the level. Definitely seems that we're uh, certainly not playing around in this pack anymore. Yeah, and it's only a second level tricky. Oh! Uh, no, 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 no. Even bashing is not going to help us. Yeah, because then they just go off into the void. Nah, I thought I was onto something, but nope. He's on. Um, Pretty certain. Okay. Yeah, 
yeah, exactly. That happens. Huh. Why does the uh, level keep on turning when I'm... Um, when I, like, um, do things a certain way with my mouse? Yeah, I don't know if it's, like, maybe the sensitivity or, um, maybe something in the settings. Yeah, so I am very, very confused as to, as to where we need to start anyway. Maybe it's just the uh, combination of the wheel and the white mouse button. Yeah, it's one of those things with the mouse where um, if I go into the very fast um, scrolling mode, yeah, then I have to like remember to like um, stop the scrolling. Yeah, otherwise it would just um, result in the janky and uh, back and forth movements. Um, yeah, I, I am truly, like, like, confounded here, like, I don't see, like, a way out at all. Yeah, I see absolutely no way out. Yeah, like, I am watching to see what happens, but, um... I don't see any way out whatsoever. Even then, the mining's not gonna do any good, is it? Okay, yeah, and then it could all, like, come back the way they came. Yeah, was one of them heading back. <laughs> yeah, so was, while that miner was going, yeah, some of them turned back. So that would be what would okay. need to happen, but, um... Yeah, but the mine is too slow, so... Hmm. Let's go! Let me just see something here. I don't think it has anything to do with the RR, though. Or the solution. Okay, so the first lemming 
uh, not the first lemming, but rather the second lemming slipped by. So, um, actually, uh, does the miner, um, eventually turn around himself because he stops? No. He, uh, goes all the way through. Okay. So, what happens if I try assigning the one that slipped slip on by the miner a basher? Okay, uh, I guess that was enough. Yeah, the miner essentially interrupts the basher. Yeah, because I guess the skill only works when you're um, doing it at the same level. Yeah, but because the one uh, slap of the block uh, was removed, um, yeah, that's why the basher, the basher stops. That's my guess, though. But yeah, this does uh, this will uh, um, solve the low. Yeah, yeah. The miner he just keeps being stuck in that infinite loop, and so this one took uh, much longer than I thought it would. Just similar to the previous low, but well, yeah. What can I do about it? And also, um, yeah, I have a climber to spare here as well. So I'm not sure what the climber is for. Yeah, it's probably a red herring skill, just like the uh, previous level. Uh, yeah, pretty good level though. Yeah, but uh, again, took longer than I thought it would. Yeah. And I must say, yeah, you know, Tricky Rank is already off to a pretty difficult start. But um, yeah, already I'm liking these puzzles because, like, um, yeah, we seem to be of the type where um, we're just given the bare minimum amount of skills to get the level solved. And uh, they are certainly far harder than the. Um, than the uh, X of everything that we had um, in the fun rank. Yeah, throughout most, most of the fun rank. But anyway, moving on. Uh, tricky 3, actual maze. Uh, 50 lemmings, 25 to be saved, and time a bit of 8 minutes here. And I'm guessing that this is mostly a Turner's puzzle here. Yeah, just uh, fun to lay out and everything. Yeah, yeah, that's mostly right. Yeah. So in in addition to Turners, we have bombers as well, and yeah, all fifty of them together. I mean, all of them together out of the fifty, which is the number of lemmings that we have, and the individual quantities, yeah, matches the um, uh, save requirement. Okay, um, so um, yeah, it's definitely clear that we would need to start by using a Turner. Yeah, um, let me see, um, can these even be blown up? Nope, so it looks like it, um, the maze walls are indestructible then. So, uh, that probably means that the entire ma uh, though has to be done with just turners. Oh, uh, most importantly, where is the exit here? Right there, okay. So, yeah, it looks like this actually turns out to be an old Turner's um, okay. Uh, okay. level here. Yeah, I can't really use the bombers at all, it appears. Okay, uh, let me see here. Um, do it. You actually want to turn here. Um, yeah, I think we actually want to turn right now. Okay. Yeah, at this okay. intersection. I'm pretty much playing like this level like kind of blindly. Yeah, I'm not really like um, thinking as to the route they actually need to take and everything. Oh, uh. Mr. Turner there. Whoops. Yeah, we went too far back that time. Okay. So, and then for here. Oh, it looks like that's a that's a dead end over there, so. So we will have to turn here. Um let's see. I don't think it. Uh, yeah, it would. So we want to turn to the right. Okay. 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 And then turn here.
Okay, and then okay. another turner here. Okay. Oh, um, that needs to do uh, using another turner there. Um, actually, um, where are they? So, um, do we actually want to go the other way instead? I mean, it doesn't really matter here, I don't think. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's just uh, turn to the right instead. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, and then another okay. one here. Um, yeah, I think that might have just resulted in the same number of turners, but, um, well. Okay. Yeah, there does okay. seem to be uh, multiple ways to go about the level. And is there an actual... Yeah, there's an actual pathway here okay. that we can take. Okay. Oh, and, yeah, and everyone was already okay. out, so... Okay. So, therefore, maxing out the release rate wouldn't help us um, get the okay, load okay. done any sooner here. Alright, and there we go. So that pretty much uses... This one uses 21 turners. Yippee. So, four of the requirement here. Yep, seems that the walls are indestructible. So therefore, the bombers are just complete red herrings and... Um, I guess it's just meant to, to, to distract the player. Uh, tricky four, wait for walkway. Uh, 30 lemmings, 25 to be saved. Time limit of six minutes here. Hmm, this looks like, this looks like a pretty interesting log. Yeah, um, with all the, um, um, like, uh, twists and, and the road, and the path winding and everything. Uh, one blocker, four turners, and three boaters. Okay, well. Yeah, I don't know why the um, okay, okay. game does that sometimes when I'm just um, rotating around with just holding the right mouse button. So I guess we could just put a turner there and okay. then okay. maybe another one here. Okay. Okay. okay, and then we would have to use another turner there. And then that uses the last of our turners and then therefore we have no way of uh, progressing towards the exit this way. And if we, yeah, I think this is way too far to like just uh, build over with just three, three builders. So, oh, um, here's a thought. What about building over here? Okay. Uh, and then we want to turn over here. Okay. Alright, and then max up the release rate. Alright, and then... Okay. Before I do the same here, um, did I miss the correct spot here? Yeah, I sure did. Okay. So, just wait until he gets to the uh, edge. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Turn right here. So, yeah, this is pretty much reminding me of, um, I think it was Fun 9, except there are no traps to worry about here on the ground. But, um, yeah, just like building over the gaps and everything, and then just having to make those turns. Yeah, it pretty much reminds me of that low. Okay, so now we're heading towards the exit, that's good. Okay, and then if we put a turner there. Yeah, then uh, taking this route will require two more turners. So that wouldn't work. However, I think we can just build Turner. over so that we can get over the exit. Okay. We'll be right on top of it. Yeah, like that. Turner. Yes. Okay. Okay. I 
then we can turn here. Yep, and then finally a blocker. blocker. Okay. And there we have it. Quite a nice level here. And uses all the skills this time. Yeah, not like the previous two levels where I had to climb uh, left. Um, yeah, very nice puzzle here. Pretty easy to figure out for the most part. Um, yeah, this one does um, look like it's going to be a bit long and difficult though. So do I really want to keep on going here? Yeah, even though I've been recording for quite a while. Uh, and not a lot of it was, was actual gameplay, too. I mean, the majority is still gameplay, but like uh, a lot of it was taken up by a pretty lengthy introduction, too. Uh, you know what. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Yeah, just to see what we're up against. Yeah, and if it takes a while, then well. Um, I brought that on myself, then. But uh, generally, it's pretty difficult to tell based on the preview alone, where something's going to be take a while. Um, you don't actually know until you actually play the low. Uh, tricky fight, the moat. 60 lemmings, uh, and to say 15 only. Ooh, interesting. And the time limit in 9 minutes. And it's probably not even going to take that long either. Um, I do see 4 entrances though. Okay, and then splitters, uh, right where the, um, all the entrances are. And then I believe those were X's in those uh, arch uh, ways. Yeah, right where the castle is. Uh, yes, I believe so. So, we pretty much have a choice of four exits. But uh, I don't think we're going to be taking all of them. Oop. Here goes the uh, game again. Just rotating when I didn't want it to like that. It just came back the way uh, I was going. Okay, so is there the action like this? And then eventually, yeah, some of them will be heading towards the moat, like some of them are right now. Yeah, and then I believe that one was right here that drowned. Okay, um, so one bridge is not enough to uh, get over. Yeah, we would need at least two. It appears. Okay, um. It's so near to the uh, build again. Oh, that's right, I ran out of builders. So, let me just try with this loving for the time being. Okay, um, so we hit the wall there. Whoop. Okay, let me try setting a climber over. And then, let me go ahead and put. Virtual let me mow on the climber here. Just to see we're heading towards. So we land on top of the roof. Land on the roof somewhere in the uh, inside the castle walls. Okay, and, and that just heads straight towards the water. Wait, what happened? Why did he stop? What happened here? Okay. Oh, oh. I must have put the blocker. Oh, right, 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 right. Because I have virtual let me mode on. Yeah, therefore, when I left click on the skill, it assigns it automatically because it's also, um, he's also the highlight, uh, the lemming, too. Okay, um, so we did that. Then say I uh, exit virtual lemmy mode and set up another climber. And then let me go ahead and put virtual lemmy mode on the new climber, the second one. 
Okay. Back to where he comes from. Okay, it just makes him go the other way, which also leads to water, too. Cancel the replay there. So say we drop it down. Um. Is that you? Oh, he pops out over here. Ah, and the X is right behind him. So he actually fell in front of it. Yeah, going the towards the water rather than towards the exit. However, if we put a blocker, then that should direct them towards the exit. Blocker. Okay. So if I did that... Yeah, and then I send up another climber Climber. here. Okay. Yeah, just to make sure. Yeah, virtual let me mode here. That's the exit. Alrighty. So it's clear how we need to get to the exit. Just put a blocker in front and then everyone else will bounce off of him and then go towards the exit. And also, um, we have 60 lemmings here and then there's four entrances, so therefore 15 comes out of each entrance, which is the safe requirement exactly. So it essentially means that you want to save all the lemmings for one group. You can do that, yeah, then that's essentially level solved. Although, perhaps some of the other skills will come in handy as well. Um, yeah, and we have three builders to work with here. Uh, this one seems to be another case of um, basically use builders and blockers to build a zigzag bridge. Yeah, so we block like that, and then we build the other way. Didn't block uh, the way I wanted him to. Okay. Oh, now he stops. Hmm. I'm not sure why he was able to block that time. Okay, and then here, I think we'll probably have to go on. The second plank from the top instead. Yep, that makes it through, okay. And so, with this, uh, how many lemmings does this actually save? Okay, and we have one, two, Three, so three blockers used. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, so eventually the the remaining ones just fall into the water, and we do not save enough. Oh, uh, we are actually 15 under the requirement, so not that many, what, wait a minute, did I, um, wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, I, there's no blocker there. Right, 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 right. Okay. Right, right, right. How, how silly of me. Yeah, I need to reassign the blocker. Okay. Oh. Ugh. I moved away from where the, I built the bridges. So how many lemmings does this actually save?
Uh, one, two, three blockers, right? Uh, yeah, I believe that's three, unless that, there was another blocker somewhere. So, there's four remaining, and then, uh, I mean seven, and then there's four. Okay, so that saves all, and then, um, we're three under the requirement. Okay, so not enough. Yeah, maybe that's where, um, the remaining blocker comes in handy. Probably. We're putting a blocker here, and then doing the rest of the solution as we did before. Might have been because um, he was actually on the second plank, probably second or last one. Maybe that's why he was able to block. Yeah, I'm not sure what determines when the blocker will actually be placed and, and everything on the builder staircase. I think that's a mechanic that Namita told me about, but I don't remember it right now, like how it works. Let's go ahead and put a blocker here. Alrighty, so with that, this new blocker here, let's uh, see what happens then. Yeah, do we actually end up saving enough? Uh, it's looking pretty good because there's 12 remaining in the level, and I only need to save one more yeah, in order to pass. Yep, and there we go, there's one heading towards the bridges. And another one too, I believe. No, not that one. Okay, and then can we actually save any more with the ten remaining? Yeah, three of which are blockers. No, four of which are blockers. Yeah, a couple more headed towards there. Okay, now there's five. Um, so, which means there's only one remaining that's roaming around. Yeah, what happens to him? Wait, where is he now? Okay, so it appears that he's not going to make it whatsoever. And most likely he'll probably end up in the water sooner or later. Nope, or maybe he's stuck in that infinite loop. Okay, so... Let me go ahead and go back to... where it was when um, the save uh, uh, went up to two. Okay. So, and then the remaining two that are warming around, they do not make it to the exit whatsoever, so... Yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and nuke the low there. Okay, so I must say, this was a pretty interesting level. Yeah, where uh, you definitely have to pay attention to the save requirement and observe what's going on with the splurs and everything. And just realize um, that, uh, yeah, you need to zigzag your way up. Yeah, like two in the same direction and then one in the other direction so that you get high enough to uh, get over the castle walls and everything. And um, yeah, just realize that there's a very good reason why the safe requirement is pretty low here. Or or unusually low. Yeah, similar to the previous low. Although, I guess for the previous low, um, I think there's a way to optimize it so that you don't use as many turn, uh, that many turners. But well, yeah, I was kind of playing the low blindly. And so therefore, yeah, I didn't exactly like figure out which route to take and everything. Yeah, before I started like playing the low. But anyway, yeah, this was a pretty good low. Yeah, a very interesting one too. 
Okay, so with that, yeah, let's go ahead and make a cut here. But uh, for the most part, yeah, finishing five lows in one video. Yeah, I must say, that's a pretty good accomplishment. Uh, considering that we are now a quarter, a quarter done with the uh, tricky rank already. Yeah, despite the fact that the first two lows took longer than, than expected. But well, um, there isn't really much that I can do about that. And I have to make a confession. Con Confession here in that like uh, this is actually not the um, original recording. Yeah, instead, yeah, there was actually something that I kind of like messed up along the way in that like, yeah, um, I hit the uh, circle on my um, headset and um, yeah, because I uh, such a like uh, my, my mom came into the room and so I just like uh, hit that yeah in in like a blind panic I guess I hit that and also the uh, hot keeper pausing the recording and and then once uh, she left the room I. Uh, resumed and um yeah i uh didn't realize that um like after i finished recording yeah that you uh there's no audio commentary for the rest of the uh video and so pretty much at that point i lost uh 22 minutes of um uh, audio commentary i was like eh, it's not too bad i'll just re-record those parts yeah uh starting from where it uh it it got cut off and everything yeah and the reason for that is because, yeah, I guess the, uh, circle thing on my, um, headset. Yeah, um, so pretty much like, um, some kind of, like, control thingy. Yeah, where you can increase, decrease the volumes and, um, uh, and, and uh, mute the mic. Yeah, because that, that actually mutes the mic. It doesn't, uh, pause the recording. Yeah, instead that's for the pause hot key. Yeah, which I did press, but, um, yeah. But in the process, yeah, of, um, uh, unpausing the recording, I forgot to unmute the mic. So that's why there's no audio commentary. Yeah, in the last 22 minutes of the original video. But in any case, yeah, like I said, I just simply re-recorded re it. And I did it to the best of my ability here. And I think I actually exceeded it a little over like 3-4 minutes, yeah, from the original. So, um, yeah, it's like I said, I tried it. I did my best there to like, make it as like close to the original as possible. But um, yeah, obviously the um, what I said here is different from the original. Yeah, what, whatever I said, because like you're not gonna hear it anyway. But here you will hear the new uh, commentary in in its place. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was pretty unfortunate. But yeah, like I said, it's okay. Yeah, it was only 22 minutes of uh, commentary that, that that you don't get to hear, and so I just ended up re-recording it because like um, um, yeah, it wasn't a huge pain to do. Yeah, it was just other commentary for um, about um, three and a half uh, levels. Three and a half? Yeah, three and a half. Yeah, close to four. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and make a cut here. And so, um, tune in next time for when I let's play more of this pack. Thank you for watching, everyone, and I'll see you all next time.